You're live. All right, we're live. All right, you guys. Um, I have been doing all of this great lead testing with my friend Tamara from Miss Lead, and today we're doing Lead Safe Baby Whoa. with the assistant of my baby. <laughs> uh, see. All right, my website is creativegreenliving.com, and uh, we're going to have a write-up about this video and others we did for the lead testing on there. There's also information about lead in Pyrex and Instant Pots. Um, my friend Tamara, this is her Facebook page for her documentary movie, uh, Miss Lead Movie, on Facebook. Uh, you can also find it as um, Miss Lead America's Secret Epidemic. And uh, her website is tamarubin.com. She's got lots of great information about lead and lead testing and um, safe products for your home <laughs> that are lead and cadmium free. So, um, this is us. This is Tamara. Whoa. Hi. Hey. I'm Asher. He's down here. He's helping us today. Thanks, buddy. So, um, we are testing um, a variety of, we've got dishes and um, baby spoons and baby forks and um, we're going to test to pick up sorry my dogs are barking stop and we're going to um, use we're going to be using it uh, here let's flip it around an okay. x-ray fluorescent spectrometer uh that's a scientific instrument used by the consumer product safety commission the niton xl3 t xrf analyzer from thermo fisher scientific and it tells us the um metals make up of anything we pointed at so we're going to start with you know i'm going to start with the table all right um and so that we know that the base that we're testing on is lead free. Well, you want to get down, sweetie? <laughs> you can get down. You don't have to keep helping. That's cool. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> and so these tests take about 30 seconds each. And oh, he wants his tray. Oh, he wants his tray. Can I hold? Is this you? I'll hold it still you it. while you get the tray. Thank you. <laughs> Making videos with babies in time. I know. Here you go. Here, bye. And each of the tests is usually about 30 seconds, but it tells me pretty quickly. So Car table. Carissa's table is free of lead, cadmium, mercury, bromine, chromium. It has a tiny bit of iron, which makes sense, and zinc, and the balance is just wood. Perfect. That's market. <laughs> All right. And then, so now we're going to test this stainless steel plate, which is something that I recommend and she recommends we both use with our families right yeah so. these, this plate is from eco lunchbox it's a divided plate that um both my big kid and my baby really love um and they uh especially if you have kids who don't want their food touching and it's yeah. safe so we don't use plastic dishes in our house um we got rid of them and then for the baby you know we don't want to give him a ceramic or a glass dish in case he throws it off his high chair because babies do that so uh this is what we use from Eco Lunchbox. And I'll put a link to this in the video. Once we're done with the live video, I'll um, put a link so that if you're interested in more information on these products, how this one do? It is uh, no lead. Whoop, you want your plate? Can I give you your plate? It's no lead, no mercury, no cadmium, non-detect for each of those things, no bromine, but um, stainless steel, the main ingredients of stainless steel are chromium, 150,000 parts per million, Iron, 726,000 parts per million, and nickel, 5,500 parts per million. And the interesting thing is nickel um, is often as high as 82,000 in stainless steel. That's a common stainless steel alloy has 82,000 uh, parts per million nickel. So that's a very low nickel plate as far as, uh, as, 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 far as stainless goes. And this what we're testing right now is called the Safe Sippy. And uh, we have been using these since my oldest child was born in 2010. And they're really durable, which I like. You can see some dents where it's taken some pretty hard um, falls. But this cup is probably seven years old. And when, when you get a stainless steel reading, um, then I don't need to really do any more testing. This is, it tells me the grade of the stainless steel. So this is stainless steel 304. And again, no lead, no mercury, no cadmium, no bromine. But it does have... 179,000 parts per million chromium, and the nickel is the 81,700, which is that, that about the 82,000, and then um, the iron is 720,000. So that's and these stainless are numbers steel. we would expect in stainless steel, right? These aren't yeah, that's concerning what, numbers. <laughs> it's just elements. People are like, oh, do we need to be worried about that? I'm like, no, no, no. These are the elements that make up stainless steel. Yeah. Um, and testing when you test a consumer product, you want to make sure you test all of the elements of it. Um, so I'm testing the green plastic part. Oh, thank you. You want to get down? Uh, we yeah. thought, hey, it'll be fun to make a video with the baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, whoops, you want some help? Or you can do that all by yourself, huh? Whoa, gotcha. Um, so the lid is testing also negative for lead, cadmium, and mercury. And it tells me that it's plastic. I knew that. Um, and I'm going to then also test the orange part of the lid. Uh-huh. Oh, 
And this is uh, using, again, technology um, used by the Consumer Product Safety Commission to determine if um, products meet the standards required for children. And because this is a non-radioactive source instrument, there's not a concern about having people in the room <laughs> as long as it points directly at the product. Um, again, so the, the orange part is also free of lead, cadmium, and mercury. So, so far, we've got these two things that are these free. These are lead free. From uh, Eco Lunchbox and the Safe Sippy, we'll, um, we'll put links to that. In yeah, the and then, then the other thing, um, and the table, the three things. Right? Oh, yeah, table? <laughs> I said to her, well, well, does your baby use a napkin? Let's test a napkin. So we're going to test a napkin. Let's see. Now, when we were testing the plastic on that sippy cup, how often do you think lead is a contaminant in plastic items? In babies' items that are manufactured recently since the new uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission Improvement Act, you're not going to see lead as a contaminant in those kinds of things. Good. You hope you're not going to. Ideally. Uh, um, because it's pretty well regulated now, especially items for baby. So the napkin is lead-free, cadmium-free, and mercury-free. Thanks, World Market. Cotton, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and let's see, I'm just trying. it's hard to, you're supposed to test these kind of up, but it's a little bit hard with these smaller I items. No, I got it, I got okay. it. Um, and so uh, the, the thing I was going to say about the um, baby items is the vintage baby items that I've tested have been very high lead. And so you don't want to feed your baby in the baby cup you used to have. I've tested the Beatrix Potter ones, um, the, the Wedgwood China Beatrix Potter Benjamin Bunny cups are as high as like uh, 30, 40, 50,000 parts per million lead when the hazard level for an item intended for children is 90 parts per million and they're like 50,000. That's a lot of lead. And then the Bunnykins, <laughs> the Bunnykins is similar. It's like 60,000 parts per million lead. Um, So this is a Nuck spoon or fork. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's a Gerber variant. It's a line that Gerber makes, yeah. And that one's an older one. And this is testing negative for lead, cadmium, and mercury, both in the handle and in the um, and in this in the fork part, the okay. metal part. It does say China, and you know I had tested some of these before, and there was a concern about that, and so that's verification that that's safe. Let's see, where's the monkey? Is he, oh, he went over there. Okay, good, far away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to, to, him to test him on the table. Oh, sorry, hold on. Asher. Yeah. My dog's in a bark at the flash with my baby's acquired. He likes to climb under the table and say it's a cage. All right, let's see, I'm going to stop because he's going on. Let's see, let's try this. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this. Where's a good place? Can I do this over there? Sure. I know we're moving here. I'm going to take these couple of things that we haven't tested yet. And move them where the baby. The baby's not crawling. Okay, we'll put them over here. We should test yeah. this uh, dresser for uh, in her lovely. Yeah. Hi, Charlie. Charlie's Charlie. helping us today. <laughs> Say hi, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Charlie, move out of the way. <laughs> and so I'm gonna just test this real quick. That's a good lesson we just learned. If how the baby's often, oh sorry. If the baby's roaming, test against the wall. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, how often do you find lead in new baby dolls or matchbox cars? Um, the Bananas. Bananas. Um, matchbox cars, I new ones are almost always lead free. Um, I have tested old ones from the 60s and 70s and they have lead. But new ones are. are um, so don't again, let your kids play with vintage matchbox cars. Yes. Cars. Keep away. I've tested vintage matchbox cars that are safe, but they're not consistently safe. So, uh, and if you look at those, the paint has worn off like pretty. Pretty, pretty consistently on, on all the old Matchbox cars. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got that box of cars there. Mo I think I've tested all of those, and those are safe. But I, I might not have. Um, Did you test that? Before? Well, so this is, again, this is stainless steel 304. This is um, a Fugo cut from Thermos. Yeah, so uh, say it'll have the same readings as the other stainless steel. Real live video in real time with the real <laughs> chaos of having children and dogs. Um, That's what we get for trying to shoot a kid's video, right? Uh, all right, and I'm doing shorter. Usually I do a 30-second test, but it does tell me if it's a non-detect pretty pretty quickly. So this is non-detect in the plastic as well for lead, cadmium, and mercury. Are these different brands? The uh, that, those two are a different brand, and then that green one is a different year of manufacture. of The, the same thing as the blue one, same kind okay. of different year of manufacture. So I'm going to test this separately. And um, one, one of the things that's... Oh. <laughs> I can hear this first around the 
one of the most concerning things for me as a lead poisoning prevention advocate with kids is I heard this story a few years back about a mama whose baby was poisoned and it turned out um, <laughs> they it's lived authentic. in a newer construction home. It's, it's authentic. It uh, and so that's again negative for lead, cadmium, and mercury. Um, and the, the mama lived in a newer construction home and her baby was not, you know, they couldn't figure out the source of poisoning. And then they kind of did a, a home visit and they found out that, in fact, the mom was giving the baby her bottle every day and she gave her a vintage 1980s Wedgwood, um, is it Wedgwood? No. What's the big crystal one? Oh, Waterford? Waterford, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Vintage 1980s Waterford crystal baby bottle that was actually approximately yeah. 300,000 parts per million lead, and that was poisoning the baby because oh the word. acidity in, um, in milk and juice, even uh, in some water, is enough to have the lead leach out of the baby bottle. So if you do find any of those 1980s baby bottles, chuck them in the trash. So Jack um, on here is asking about symptoms of lead poisoning. Is that on your website, Tamara? Yeah, yeah, I have a symptoms thing. I do. I just recently, so look, go to TamaraRubin.com and uh, type in symptoms. I did an adult symptom post and a children's symptoms post, and I linked to a bunch of other posts. So this is red, okay. um, and so the red is, often has cadmium. It is free of lead, but it's cadmium 21 plus or minus 9, and again, that's only an 18-second test. But there's trace cadmium, and that's often going to happen in a something with a red colorant, okay. uh, even though it's intended for children. And this is a, a Gerber product. And the, um, you know, it's not ideal, but the hazard level, the most strict hazard level for cadmium in a child's product is 40 parts per million, and it is below that. But if you see any symptoms of deterioration, even if you have something below that level, I'd get rid of it. I mean, that's yeah. That's you would advise. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Poor Asher. And also blues and purples can sometimes test positive for cadmium. And this is the same brand and the same mm -hmm. set. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I would say this is worth a letter to Gerber. You want to switch around? Yeah, are these ones yeah. from Gerber? Um, yeah, I would say. I'm oh, yeah. Hey, Gerber. What the heck, dude? Um, and you know what year those are from? I would say these are from approximately 2010. Yeah. This high chair is really old. This is like my sister used this with her children and her oldest child is 11, I think. So it was made before the legislation, yet still some companies uh, have been responsible all the way around. So even though it's the paint is kind of wearing here, mm -hmm. it's still, um, the paint is negative. It's okay. negative for lead, mercury, Good. and cadmium. Good, especially it's worn off, my gosh. Yeah, and that's I believe this is a Fisher-Price, yeah, this is a Fisher-Price high chair. Let's that's dirty, sorry, the people are looking at like the grime. <laughs> I've got to clean it. So... And, and the plastic is, turning, is negative, too. Good. And that's what you want to see in an item intended for children, um, that there's actually no trace of lead, mercury, or cadmium, because why should there be, um, even if there are limits that are officially considered okay by the federal government, that doesn't mean that, that we don't have better manufacturing processes that, and standards that could end up having you know, completely lead-free, cadmium-free products, and that's what we should ask for. Yeah, there's no good reason why those ingredients need to be in any of these products. And so that's also lead metal. Even the painted metal component is lead, cadmium, and mercury free. Thanks, Fisher Price. Good <laughs> job. Right. That's awesome. Thanks, camera. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Um, for more information on uh, this test, we'll do a write-up on creativegreenliving.com. And Tamara, her website is tamarubin.com. And you can find more information about um, lead poisoning and then healthier choices for your kids. And um, you know what? I'm going to just answer quickly symptoms of lead poisoning. Most yeah. children are asymptomatic if they've been exposed to lead. Uh, the biggest symptom of lead poisoning is no symptoms at all. And it seems like irritability, crankiness, things people might think are, are teething symptoms, or maybe a stomach ache and headache, maybe people think it's the flu. So there's really not a way to say, oh, these symptoms are lead poisoning. The only way to know if your child's been tested, I mean, um, is, is positive for lead, is to get them a blood lead test. And unfortunately, um, you know, they end up being the canary in the coal mine because we have lead in so many products. But as you see here, like we've got all these baby products that are lead safe, lead free, cadmium free, so that's a good start. Yeah. It is. Thank you. Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> Bye.